I would like to show you some things we got from Amazon today. First, let me say a few weeks ago we were at Target in the outdoor section and we saw some LED lantern lights that were just so cute. Um, the way they were using them is they were hanging them on their awning of their trailer. Uh, so we didn't get them though because we weren't really that serious at the time about getting a trailer. But now that we're actually getting one, uh, Betty Jo went and ordered some. So here they are. That's the storage position. And some batteries so it's actually off when it's closed like that and when you lift it just a little it starts to light up see there so you could do, I guess, it's the purpose is for a little light or a lot of light. So I don't know how bright this is going to be for you. Probably too much. See? It's cute. So now that I see how bright it is, um, it's possible it's something we could use inside the trailer too at night for, for varying amounts of light that we want. So we have three of these. I didn't even know she ordered them, so it's a little surprise for me. Uh, we have some other nice things too. Some camping dishes. And uh, I did know we were going to be getting these. I chose orange and green just to kind of give a, a retro camper feel to it. So they're pretty basic plates. I didn't want to take glass for obvious reasons. I think it all looks good together. We really only had to have four. We got eight in case we have more company than just us. It doesn't take up much more space. Oh, just in case you can't see very well, here's the cups are my favorite part. Um, they remind me of when I was a kid. My granny used to get Quaker oats in a big in a big can type of thing. It was like about, I don't know, eight inches wide the can was, canister, maybe a foot tall. And it always had these cups in it and they were pretty close to this. So it just kind of gives me a nostalgia feeling, you know. Something else I want to say. So if you've watched our video where we purchased the trailer. I'll try to do this quickly and basically. Here's our trailer layout. There's the entrance. The uh, master bed's about right here. There's a dinette that folds down to a bed. And then long ways here on top of each other, there's bunks for the girls. And then there's a, uh, you know, bathroom and kitchen here so what I was thinking early on was it'd be really cool to separate these living areas because it's a really small trailer it'd be nice to separate them into uh, you know privacy sleeping visual visual privacy so I thought it'd be nice to uh, have just buy some curtains floor to ceiling curtains like that Probably uh, bright colors, just to continue the the look I'm doing with the plates. Kind of a retro 
maybe one here. I haven't decided if I want to put one in front of the, the dinette or not. Uh, just, just so you can have a little visual privacy while you're sleeping. You don't want to have your mouth gaping open and drooling, you know. Uh, possibly on this larger one, it could be a double curtain uh, where you could split in the middle and tie it back during the day. And uh, these two would be small enough that you could do a single tie back. And then the big news about this is I have this crazy idea a couple of days ago that instead of buying them I think I'm gonna make them. I have no experience at all making anything like that. I think it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Uh, the only things I've sewn are patches on military uniforms and I think I sewed my uh, motorcycle glove up once, mended it. So that'll be quite a bit out. We have to get the trailer so I can get the exact measurements and find a place for cloth. I have to decide on what kind of cloth to use. If you have tips on anything like that, if you've done that, Leonette, please let us know. Uh, I'll probably be watching videos on how to sew curtains. And what I'm, I don't have a sewing machine. I have a needle and thread. I'm not doing that. I'll probably buy a, uh, some kind of little, I think I've seen a little hand portable sewing deal, hopefully under 50 or $30. So, uh, if you have any comments, let us know. Other than that, see you next time.